Okay, today I will tell you a bit about how to analyze uh, video sequences or sequences of, of images. And we can get uh, access to, to such a video sequence from, from many different uh, sources. Um, some kind of camera is often uh, taking the images and if you take them um, with a short time interval then you get a video. And this is what we will focus on here. Um, and, and what we have here is actually some kind of, if you have a single frame here, and then try to imagine you not only have a single frame, but you have uh, multiple frames, uh, as I have tried to, to depict here. For each location in the, these frames, we can associate some kind of an intensity at a certain x and y position which will be our coordinate system here um, and so this so usually we have the x-axis down here and the y-axis to the right but when we're dealing with image sequences we also have an additional uh, direction to move within and that is the time uh, so for the first frame here, we might have t equals 1. For the next fr frame, we have t equals 2, t equals 3, and so on. Um, so now we have something that both varies in two spatial directions, the, the x direction and the y direction, but also in the time-wise direction. And if you just consider this to, to be some kind of function, um, it could be that uh, all these are not related. Um, so one frame will be completely independent of, of the previous frame and, and so on. Um, but this is often not the case um, as we have uh, what is known as limited uh, changes uh, from frame to frame. So again, if you see some kind of video and then in one frame, an object is at a certain location, a car for instance, then in the next frame, a moment later, you will not expect that car to move very far um, in that regard. Um, so things tend to, to move slowly uh, in all of these uh, directions. And if we get some kind of um, of, of data source li like this, um, we want to to locate. Uh, we might want to to locate for a different thing. And and these could be uh, things like tracking objects. Um, to track the camera motion. So we could either track something within the video or we could track how the camera that records the video moved. There's also a topic about background uh, subtraction. Um, which is to figure out what is a static background and what are moving objects that is part of the, the foreground. Um, finally, we have something that is uh, named shot boundary detection. And this is relevant if you're want, wanting to analyze some kind of video that has been edited and you want to figure out, okay, in this part of the video, uh, the data sources from one location, and then the video is clip is clipped. Uh, so a completely new frame enters, and this is what we are meaning with a short boundary. And finally, sometimes you also want to do motion uh, segmentation. And motion segmentation is to figure out which part 
of the scene is moving in a similar way. So these are some of the things that you might want to, to extract uh, from a video. The lecture today will uh, mainly focus on, on this part about uh, object tracking. Um, and to do that, um, we can either track the object or we could figure out how the background is looking. So, and that will be the approach used here for, for the background subtraction. Good. So for the first part here, we'll look at what is known, known as color-based uh, tracking. And for, for that purpose, I have a few images uh, to show you. So I'll just uh, switch to, to those. They should be, or one of those is, is here. Um, so this is a, a plain image of some kind of piece of paper where a small robot is uh, driving around. And this is part of, of a video where we have uh, seen the movement of, of this uh, robot. And to be able to track this, we want to analyze the uh, the certain colors of the object we want to track. That is the, the bright spot in the middle of the robot. Oh, sorry. Um, and we can do that using histogram back projection as you have uh, worked with uh, earlier. So if we are given uh, a set of pixels from that object and the object has a, a very dis distinct uh, color, we can use uh, histogram back projection to locate pixels in a new image that has similar colors as the reference object. So if we try to apply background histogram back projection for the image before, if we have a, a small patch uh, centered on, on the bright spot of, of the robot, we get an output more or less like this. And now we need to, to locate where is this uh, bright spot in this image, and that will be the center of this uh, object we want to track. And the track position can be visualized more or less like this. And I actually have a small video demonstration that I hope I can, can get to work here. Uh, so I will try to, to open it. And that seems to work more or less. You don't get the... I need to move a bit around. And on this part of the web page for, for you to see more or less the, the entire page, but but I think it'll work. So now you can see it. Um, and I need to find a, a video file for, for this. And there it was. So what I can do here is I have a, a video and um, Within this video, I would like to track some kind of object, and I have chosen to, to locate the, the roof of this uh, uh, bicycle here. And um, now I need to, to tell the program that this location should be tracked, and we should extract a color pixel from, from that location. Um, and I can do that by specifying coordinates to, to this point. Uh, and see if I can move it around. Um, so I think it, it has a, a good uh, location. And uh, this takes some, some meddling here. And the more precise I get this, uh, the better signal we will have when, when we start uh, tracking this. But I think it's more or less in place now. And then I can say uh, start tracking. And we uh, can see that it's actually able to, to follow this roof uh, in this video. And in the histogram back projection output of, of this, uh, this is all so very uh, clearly located, so it's easy to see where it uh, ends up. 
and at this point the video ends and it seems it has tracked this object based on color in in a useful way and uh, the way this works is what is known as uh, or it implemented in, in something named the, the mean shift shift algorithm Um, which basically takes some kind of location, usually taken from the previous frame, and then it has a, a set of uh, points or some kind of, of feature values it, it wants to uh, track. And this will be the output from the, um, from the histogram back projection. And the goal of this algorithm is then to figure out Where's this? Uh, how should I move this frame so as many of the points as uh, pr inside the frame as, as possible? And the way it does it is to look in inside this frame and see, okay, which points do we have here, and calculate the center of mass of, of this frame. The center of mass will be approximately here, and then it draws a new frame with the same size as before centered uh, on the new center of mass like here and then this process is uh, repeated so now we again figure out the new center of mass it'll be here and we draw a new uh, frame and within a few iterations we end up at the at a location that is quite uh, close to to the optimal uh, position of this, at least if this box starts somewhere near where it needs to end. So if we are trying to track too small a, a box here, uh, it'll get lost. It, it will not be able to, to locate this point and, and go in that, that direction. So that's one of the um, disadvantages of, of this algorithm. A different disadvantage um, that we also saw in, in the video here was that the object actually changed uh, size uh, during the tracking and that can be problematic if you start tracking a very small object and then it gets bigger and bigger then this uh, system will not work as, as well as, as it should be and it has been uh, more or less solved with an approach named the camshift uh, algorithm which works more or less like the, the mean shift algorithm with one addition uh, thing and it is it looks at uh, uh, the mass or area of the tracked object and based on that it actually scales the uh, bounding box Uh, accordingly so yeah so these are a, one approach for uh, tracking a, a colored object in a video and later on we will see at, at a few different approaches for for tracking objects that moves in in uh, videos but more about that in, in the next video